Hey, how's it going? I've seen Sherlock Holmes two or three times in a row now, and I still don't have any regrets about it. And this is the news show. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Our first story of the day leads on from the last first story of the show, which is that Kim Jong Un has been appointed the supreme leader of North Korea. He's already issued a warning to South Korea, saying, and I quote, "We will never deal with the traitor group of Lee Myung Bak." So there you go. I don't know. Part of me thinks that the rest of the world should kind of feel a wee bit tense. Uh, about him now being in charge because, I don't know, part of me thinks that because he's uh, a, you know, a new leader and he's quite young, he won't, he'll want to show his authority so he'll probably come out and try and bully folk or you know, he'll just send warnings out as he's already doing and uh, that sort of thing. I don't know, I just I would feel a wee bit tense if maybe he might do something slightly unpredictable and shake shit up a bit. Who knows? Our next story of the day, uh, if you're a fan of time travel, this is kinda cool. And that is that Samoa is skipping today. So I'm always skipping Friday altogether, it's just going from, you go to sleep on Thursday night and you wake up on Saturday morning. The reason it's doing this is because uh, Samoa does a lot of trading with Australia and New Zealand, which was 21 hours behind. But now that it's moved to Saturday, which is technically now, so it's now on Saturday, it would have been Friday but they've just missed it, god it's Saturday so it means they're three hours ahead of Australia and New Zealand. This is because they do a lot of business with Australia and New Zealand and they were losing out on two days effectively because of time differences and you know, Sunday is not a business day and they would miss out on a day because it was Sunday twice essentially because it was Sunday in Samoa and then, or Sunday in Australia and New Zealand then it was Sunday to, so they're, they're always missing out on two days and stuff like that uh, and they moved it forward and now they all get to have more business and fun and stuff. American Samoa, which is 100 miles roughly to the east of Samoa, has actually not made the change, which means if you want, if you're feeling a bit fun and weird, you can go to Samoa, have your birthday in Samoa, drive to American Samoa, have your birthday again. Two birthdays! That's pretty cool. Although would that mean if you went and you were turning 18 and then you went and you would turn 19? Or would it just mean that you aged 18 twice, you're time travelling back the way to turn 80? So as you drive you get younger and then you get older again? Or am I just confusing myself? <laughs> I'm just talking complete shit. Our third story, as you may or may not have already heard, is about SOPA. And this story you probably already heard about from Philip DeFranco or anywhere on the internet. But I'll have a bash at it as well, just to be part of the crew, just jump the bandwagon, why not? And that is that GoDaddy has come out and said, yeah, we support SOPA. Now, if you don't know what SOPA is, uh, where have you been? Basically, it's an internet act trying to be put in place uh, by the American government, basically saying, if anyone has any sort of copyright material or is in any way involved in any sort of copyright thing, you're going to get fucked over for it. You're going to get sent to jail or shut down or blocked out from the world. Basically, it's their way of censoring the internet and it's a bad thing. Thing. It's just bad and wrong and damn. Philip DeFranco talks a lot about it, so I would probably suggest going and watching one of his videos where he talks about it. Uh, he'll probably be able to tell you a lot better than I will, and he'll have links to petitions you can sign and uh, videos explaining it in better detail. But basically, go check out Philip DeFranco, he'll tell you all about it, and you'll understand what this story's about. So, back to where I was GoDaddy has come out and said, Yeah, we support SOPA. All GoDaddy users sort of went, Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you do know it, what you do, bye! So GoDaddy has lost a lot of support, and I think <laughs> as retaliation GoDaddy went, ah, uh, we, uh, no we don't, uh, we've come back, no we don't, uh, we don't, we're against SOPA actually, we, we don't, we, we're kidding, uh, we actually don't support SOPA, uh, come back. So people were going, oh, cool, no. So basically GoDaddy lost a lot of support, and I don't think it's ever coming back. Because they stupid man. A story that's fairly new actually, it's announced a few hours ago, it's been rumoured for a while though, is that Katy Perry and Russell Brand are getting a divorce. It's been rumoured for a few days on Twitter and the sort of speculation and building and building and building and it's confirmed they're getting divorced after 14 months of marriage over irreconcilable differences. I'll say that again because I said it wrong. Irreconcilable differences. Ah. But they were seen uh, celebrating Christmas Apart, the uh, Russell was seen partying with his friends, and as was uh, Katie, but she was in Hawaii and he was in London or something like that. And uh, they weren't wearing wedding rings, so it's been on for a while. And yeah. so, main feature of that story is that Katy Perry's single, dibs, and you ladies can have that scraggly, long, lanky-looking creepy bastard. Just kidding, I kind of like him. He's okay. 
So that's all I've got to talk about really today, uh, which is also the end of the last show of the year, last show of 2011. So, on that note, I would like you all to have a very happy new year. I hope you all have had a great 2011. I, for one, have had the greatest year of my life. I'm not even kidding. It's just been a fantastic year, and I hope that 2012 is going to be continuing in that uh, momentum. What are your guys' New Year's resolutions? Put in the comments below what you guys are looking to change or improve about yourself in 2012. And uh, mine, personally, I am looking to... My first of all is manage my money better, because I've not been very good at that this year. I've not been very wise in spending it. So I'm looking to change that and uh, learn how to manage it better and make it more efficient so that everything works out well and I'm not constantly scrounging off people. Can I borrow this? Can I do that? And, you know, I can't do this because of that, etc. Basically, I'm going to learn how to spend money properly. And the second one involves this and you guys. If that were 3D, that would have scared fuck out of you. Basically, it's to make a huge push with my YouTube stuff. Uh, I'm going to just really, really dedicate a lot of time to it, put a lot of effort in. Uh, for Christmas, i got Premiere Elements, which is what this video will be edited in, so I apologize it looks shite. But basically, 2012 is going to be a year where I push to make these videos the best that they can possibly be, and just you do really, really well with them, put a lot of effort, a lot of time, and push for it, and... Uh, just have fun with it and make sure it turns out well, because I've really enjoyed doing it this year. Uh, I know that towards the end of the year it's just all sort of going, uh, but that's basically the point. 2012 it's going to start high and keep going and getting higher and higher and better and better and better. That's that, basically. Also, uh, at the time of recording this, it's not done yet, but by the new year I will have set up a Tumblr for all my YouTube's goings on, for Sonic Oddball and my blog channel, which will go in one of the corners there. Uh, I just want you guys to know that I will definitely be creating a Tumblr and be hipster about it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I'll put the link in the description when it gets created and you can follow me on that or whatever it is you do on Tumblr. I don't know. As always, I'm Corey. Hope you guys have a great new year and uh, I'll see you guys in 2012. If you like what you see, like it. If you love what you see, favourite these videos. As always, feel free to share them with your friends, your relatives, people you don't even know. Show the videos to whoever you want. So. See you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being a great audience in 2011, and I'll see you guys in 2012, let's make it fun. See you guys, peace. Ugh.